Hello, good morning, fifth graders. Today we will continue our character building materials. So please prepare primary health and values and open page eight. Okay, have you prepared your book? Okay, so let's start. We will discuss page eight. It's about peer pressure. Okay, what is peer pressure? Peer pressure means allowing people your own age, even your friends, to influence your thought and action. So, usually uh, people your age, okay, or your friends, usually they will influence your thought and action, okay, they will influence you to do something. Peer pressure can be positive and can be negative, okay, so if the peer pressure is positive, it's okay for you to follow it. But if the peer pressure is negative, you have to think first, okay? Okay, let's see the illustration here. So your friends ask you to do something. Okay, please, come on, go on, do it. Okay, like this. People often give in to peer pressure because... Okay, usually people want to follow the peer pressure because they want to avoid being teased by other. Okay, so they do it because they want they don't want to be teased by others. So they are afraid to be teased by others. Okay, so they will do it. And then the second one is they want to feel like they are part of a group. Okay, so in order, uh, what is it, to be the part of the group, usually a person will do the peer pressure. Peer pressure is a problem if you feel like you are doing something you really don't want to do. So it will be a problem if your friends force you to do something that you don't really want to do it okay so the illustration is like this your friend asks you to do something and actually you don't want to do it but you are afraid so you follow your friends because you want to be the part of the group or because you don't want to be teased by your friend okay friends so let's take a look at your book here imagine Three younger children tell you the following stories about peer pressure. What you have to do is uh, you will give the advice to your friends, uh, to your, uh, the younger children here. Okay, so okay, what will your advice to each person? Okay, in the first case, Stacy and Kiara say, I can only be their friend if I wear the same sort of clothes as them. I want to stay with them, but I don't want to be told what to wear. What should I do? So you will give your advice there. Okay. So Stacy and Kara say I can only be their friend if I wear the same clothes. Kalau pakai baju yang sama. I want to stay with them. Okay. But I don't want to be told what I wear. So what should I do? So you can give the advice to this person. The second case is, my friends are encouraging me to come to drama lessons with them. They say they have lots of fun. Mom says I can go if I want to, but I'm not sure about it. I always feel shy starting something new. What should I do? Okay, so write your advice there. Okay, and then the third case. The group I hang around with bully a younger student. They push him over and take his lunch. They say I have to start doing it too or they will spread untrue rumors about me. I don't want to bully anyone. What should I do? Okay, so sekelompok anak ini uh, membuli adik kelasnya, mendorong dan mengambil makan siangnya. Okay, 
Mereka berkata, aku harus melakukan hal yang sama atau mereka akan menyebarkan uh, rumors or uh, gossip tentang aku. Oke, okay, actually I don't want to bully anyone, so what should I do? Oke, okay, so you can give your advice and write there. Oke, okay. so here, what you have to do is uh, page 8 number 1, okay, with what Miss Vina has already just uh, uh, explained to you. And also number 3, this one, describe a time when you or your friend or a friend have faced peer pressure. Jadi yang dikerjakan nomor 1 dan nomor 3, yang nomor 3 ini, Uh, menceritakan saat kamu atau salah seorang temanmu pernah menghadapi peer pressure you can write here okay friends um, if you have any question you can ask Miss Vina so please do uh, page 8 number 1 and number 3 and then don't forget to submit on time okay thank you friends see you next time